I called the episode a couple of days ago, just keep winning, and that really is what we just need to do. It's getting incredibly tense. There's still so many games left to play. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to more Chelsea. It's Chelsea, clearly. And, uh, well, we just got to get straight into the most important thing today, and that is our youth intake, because I have a serious issue to pick, a serious bone to pick with my head of youth development. And for once, it's actually for a good reason. Uh, Neil Bath here has said very clearly there are no individual players which stand out from this year's youth intake, right? So you'd expect, logically, therefore, you know, this sort of standard youth intake of no one really ever going to actually be good enough, right? Well, no, because we actually have a five-star potential player, a few other good reputation players as well, but a five-star potential player who, when you click on him, David Ennis here, is... I think, actually one of the best regens, if not the best regen I've ever seen in any FM save coming through my youth intake. He's 16, as a goalkeeper, he's got everything you want, handling, reflexes, one-on-ones, command of area, the only real issue is his pace and natural fitness. 15 determination though, he's got it all. He's 16, zero cons on his coach report. He's already, we've already had to promote him to the first team because all the coaches were constantly going on about how we had to do it. He signed a professional contract he wanted to be first towards goalkeeper within a couple of years. He's not going to get that. But still, he's amazing. He's the best region I've ever had. Probably won't see him much this season, but maybe if we continue the save in uh, full season summaries, you'll see how he's got on. But results since last time have, until the most recent one, been really, really good. We have just kept winning. We left off. We lost the League Cup final. We then had the FA Cup match against Arsenal. I played a fully roadside side, happy to get knocked out. But we didn't. We won 1-0. Callum hudson Doy, the only goal scorer. And then in the Premier League, we beat Brentford by four goals. Nil, very good performance. And then even better, one of the best performances of the entire season, we went to Molyneux and we crushed Wolves 6-1. It was fantastic. Memphis Depay absolutely running the show. And we just kept going. A 3-0 win against Crystal Palace. And then I said we were going to come back for the second leg against Atletico Madrid, but I felt like kind of we were in such a good position with all the away goals we had, it would take something spectacular. Obviously, we are capable of doing something spectacular, but I thought we would be pretty safe going through, and we want to make a bit more progression. And uh, sure enough, we did. They didn't even have a shot on target. It was a dominant performance, a 2-0 win in the second leg. Went through 5-1 on aggregate. We're through to the quarterfinal, which we will play today, both legs, against last year's quarterfinalists, Bayern Munich. And then despite my best efforts, we are still through in the FA Cup as well, which I don't mind too much, but we're into the semi-final now. It took quite a long time to get it done. 120 minutes played against QPR, no goals. We did this time win the penalty shootout. But then most recently, we've had an international break. We've come back from the international break and lost 2-1 to West Ham. We have not lost many games this season. This is only the third game we've lost in the league this season. It has been a very, very very long time where we have not even drawn a match. We were looking like we were going to draw the match. We took the lead early on, looked absolutely fine. Sebastian Haller scored after the interval to equalise. I didn't want to settle for a point. I wanted to push for it. I wanted to push for all three. That's what cost us as we did concede in the 94th minute for a frankly disgracefully unjust win for West Ham. They've, they've scored with both of their shots on target. We'll watch their winning goal. Um, I mean... We were perhaps a little bit stretched, but we looked well back. We blocked it. I mean, this is the problem. We blocked the goal. It wouldn't have gone in. But then John Aruma, for some reason, decided to jump from the original shot, even though it was clearly going to be blocked. And therefore, the rebound went in. Very frustrating. Very disappointing. But if we look at the Premier League table, we are still top, although it is now only by two points. We are lucky because Liverpool have been dropping points as well. Since last time, they have drawn two matches, dropping four points. Therefore, in total, they have drawn with Manchester City and then they have also drawn with our near neighbours, Fulham, doing us a favour. So we are still top, but it is now only two points rather than five, which is very, very, very frustrating, very annoying. But we have got nine matches to go. It's in our hands. We've still got to play Liverpool as well. It's in our hands, but it could very, very, very easily be taken away from us. And Manchester United have played a game more, but they're suddenly right involved in this once again. So as I said, we are going to play Bayern Munich both legs today, and then I'll bring you the goals of the game in between against West Brom, which takes an added significance. The problem that I have is that in terms of Premier League games, we are playing quite a few away games 
between now and the end of the season in a row in this month here. Our final uh, final month, May, we've got three home games there. That's obviously good news, but a lot of away games to get through in this month. Um, we are, of course, in the FA Cup semi-final as well. We're against Tottenham in that one. Still so much football left to play. But first of all, we're going to play Bayern Munich, the home leg, first of all, which is a little bit irritating. The team, as you would expect, uh, everyone's going to keep their places, including Donnarumma, despite his uh, shenanigans in the previous fixture. Let's see if we can get a good result. Obviously, I do want to go through. I want to win the Champions League if we can, but the Premier League is, for me, the priority. That is what we are. Well, it's in our hands. It's in our control. We've just got to keep winning. But if we can keep winning in the Champions League too, that will be great as well. I have done a team meeting just to sort of you know, G them up and say, look, the title's in our hands. We've got a chance of winning it. Let's go out there and do it. Um, which which did they did respond very well to because the morale dropped quite a lot after the defeat to West Ham. I mean, obviously, as you'd expect, losing in the final minute of the game as Sane's running through here. And what on earth is that? We've played Donnarumma, and that is the worst goalkeeping I've ever seen. Has his confidence been destroyed? Five minutes in, just talking about how, oh, you know, the morale, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. What is this? Sane... I mean, what is Donnarumma doing there? What is he even trying to do? That's awful. I mean, they've got an away goal already. Nearly a second. Nearly a second. On the ropes here. Terrible. What I was saying was, I thought the team meeting, that went really well. And things will you know, not suddenly collapse uh, on the back of losing one game in pretty unfortunate circumstances. Evidently, they don't agree. We're just going to throw away the Champions League as well. Finally, some action. Rhys James... Plays it down to Tonali on the edge of the area. Good exchange of passes. It's gone to Havertz. He nods it in. He's miles offside. Absolutely miles. And we're going to see it again. I don't think we even need to. Well, it wasn't as it wasn't as far off as I thought, but still noticeably offside. Right, we are going to go for this. We're just going to... But they're matching our system, so we are just going to switch up to the other one. We're going to go attacking as well. Why not? Obviously, I do want to go through, but it's not... You know, it's not the end of the world if we do get knocked out, I suppose. Chilwell slips into pie, pulled back to Haaland. Somehow, Neuer has made that save despite being about 40 at this point. And at half-time, it's nil-nil. That is uh, really bad. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I'm going to put my hands in my pockets and say that. And they, you know, like the concerned father or teacher. I wouldn't mind so much if this was uh, at the, uh, the Allianz. Uh, but it's not, is it? It's... Is here. It's here. It's in London, and um, and we we're, we're not doing very well. It's safe to say, most of the team is playing terribly. I think we will fully rotate for the West Brom game, maybe, or at least like a lot of the front front players. Clearly, some changes needed. Havertz is having an absolute shocker. So is Orsolini. They can both come off. Tonali is being a disgrace as well. I mean, we've had chances since their goal. They've not actually had a shot on target, but we haven't really seen all that much in the second half or indeed the entire game they now have a highlight which uh, well we managed to cut the ball out a mason mount running free harland is ahead of him gonna play 90 minutes today which is quite rare for him it's a save from neuer again quite rare that he's missed I mean, it's going to take a big performance in germany in a few weeks time to turn this round we've given them an away goal and we've got nothing on the board ourselves we deserve something According to the XG, we deserve at least a goal. We have absolutely gone for it, but it's not worked. They've scored with their only shot on target. I feel a bit robbed again. I do feel a bit robbed. I don't want to be too negative, but we'll go with that. I'm not going to chuck the water bottle. I did that after the West Ham defeat, and that didn't go particularly well. But we, we, yeah, we do, we do feel a bit robbed. And now all of a sudden, for the first time this season, we've lost two games in a row. Look, just we look how good we've been all year. Look how good we've been all year. And if we're going to throw it away now because of a 94th minute goal from some guy who I've never even heard of for West Ham, I'm, it's just, I, I, I don't know. All right, well, we played West Brom. I mean, at least we didn't lose, I suppose. We, frankly, were lucky to get away with a draw. Completely even game. They, they can kind of feel aggrieved. We, we were lucky. And above all, we were rubbish. Really, really terrible, and um, yeah, hopefully Liverpool can can drop some points. I guess Reece James has got injured as well, which is just fantastic stuff. He's out for three to four weeks, which is just what we need. Oh no, there we go. 
there we go. They beat West Ham 4-1 at, uh, at the London Stadium, obviously, and that's enough of a, of a margin to see them go above us on goal difference. So all of our lead, five-point lead before I started playing today, it's all gone. I hate this game. I can't even do another team meeting, really, because they'll just go, oh, well, why are you doing another team meeting? I mean, it's just a day of good news, isn't it? I mean, he's not absolutely essential, but Lewis Cook has done his cruciate ligament. He's out for six, seven months. Really just thrilling stuff. It's not like there's been, there's not been an update or anything. It's not been a new patch. They've just all decided to choke at the absolute worst moment. They've, like, they've got ourselves into a position. It's all in our hands. And no, we're just going to choke. Why is everyone's morale suddenly now terrible? Like, I've not said it. We've not done anything. We've not said anything else. Why is it poor? Like, we haven't done anything. There isn't a suitable reason to hold a team meeting. Great. But why? Why, why is suddenly everyone unhappy? Nothing else has happened. I've praised everybody's conduct just to get their morale up slightly higher, but I just, I don't understand why they all are suddenly miserable. I mean, we'll try and just be as, as positive as we as we possibly can. Um, Sandro Tonali is disenchanted for some reason. I mean, like, we, we need to win this game, not even because I'm particularly unbothered about going through the Champions League. We just need to win. We, we need to win the game to try and avoid morale collapsing completely. I, it's just just baffling. But we've been, we've had such an amazing run. We've been so good all season, and then what? We we lose one game, which we absolutely did not deserve to lose. We then lose to Bayern Munich again, a game we didn't really deserve to lose particularly. As a result of that, we then play terribly against West Brom, and you know at least we didn't lose. We got a draw. But I don't understand why the morale has collapsed so completely. Did a team meeting after the West Ham game, it went very well. Everyone was very positive there. I said, you know, keep going, the title's in our hands. And then now suddenly it's just completely been destroyed. I mean, we're not playing terribly, but I'm going to say I'm, I'm pleased with how it's going just because I want them to be happy. We have a chance, it looks like. Aspel Equator, of course, playing ahead of Rhys James, who is injured. Can he put a cross into the box and give us a goal? Of course, if we can score... If we can win this game 1-0, we will take it to extra time. Depay has scored, and it's okay. It's an own goal from Neuer. He was making some amazing saves in the first in the first leg. This time, he gives us a goal, which we very much need. Havertz picks up what was a frankly dreadful cross from Aspel Equator. Chilwell does a better job, and Depay, a lucky bounce off Neuer. We've got the lead. We've got an away goal of our own. Tonali, he seems a bit more motivated now. I mean, maybe. Questionable pass, but it's worked. Demori's found Orsolini in a bit of space. He beats the challenge, takes it on, gives it to Havertz, who scores. Kai Havertz scores. Absolutely vital. 13th of the season for him, hopefully. Not unlucky for us. The switch of play from Tomori, very good. He saw Orsolini in space, got a bit of luck with the dodgy attempted challenge, but Havertz is there. The right place at the right time. 2-0. Two, two away goals for us. Big advantage. Bayern not done yet though. But uh, even if they get one back, if we win 2-1, we'll go through on away goals. So let's do that, please. Maybe. Maybe. Muller. Tolisso. Goretzka. He smashed it in. 2-1. It's 2-2 overall. But obviously we're still going through. But there's a lot of football left to be played. Over half an hour of this game left. Bayern Munich coming forwards again. Another goal would send them through. Leroy Sane has space. Tolisso gives it back to him. He's gone wide. Two minutes of normal time. We're still going. Tomori with a very long pass. It's gone to Neuer. We have dropped the line back, but it's not really helped us in recent matches. Basically, next goal wins. If Bayern score, then obviously they're going through. Donnarumma clutches the ball. Waste as much time as possible, please. Uh, don't do that. He's trying to find Haaland. He's giving it away. Sane's in. He makes a big save, though. Four minutes of added time. A lot of tired people out there. There's not many options, really, that I want to bring on at the moment. Sane still kept it in. He's offside. Literally seconds on the clock. I think, ugh. There's no point making any change now. Ziyech, corner. It's cleared. Can we pick up the loose ball? Alaba's getting there. Havertz has got there instead. He's it's a lazy, tired pass. 
there's still time for us to chuck this away. Two minutes, plenty of time to chuck this away. They need one goal. Of course, if we can get one of our own, that would be great. Haaland, again, he's, he's managed to get there. He's got there away from Pavard. He's put it away. He's done very little in recent matches. But that's his 26th of the season, and it might be the most important one of all. He's now being substituted, just because I don't want him to get injured. I mean, he, he looks so tired. It was a mix-up from Destin Pavard, but Haaland is there to slot home. And we have, for the second year running against Bayern Munich, we have come back from being dead and buried somehow... And we've, we're playing well over the allotted time. But we've managed to win 3-1 on the night. 3-2 overall. We don't even need the away goals. We have won. And that is pretty fantastic. Hopefully. Hopefully that will boost the morale. Back to a little bit more of a respectable level. Let's at least get up to average. I mean, we're still poor. That should hopefully improve. We've made it through the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Somehow, once again, we're in the semi-final for the third year running. And it's Manchester United. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel. We've still got to play them in the league, if I'm correct in saying. Oh, look. It's just like last year. Except it's Man United, not Liverpool. Three games in a row against the same team. Two games here against West Ham and West Brom that may well have, have cost us the title. Considering this, March, we won every game. February, we won every game except for the League Cup final. January, apart from losing on the opening game of the year, we won every game. October through December, only one draw. I mean, I sound like... Um, Sound like the security guard character from the day to day, but like it's still September. We won every game, and and yet this this is the situation that we're in. We're second. We're level on points with Liverpool. We are behind them by two goals because we have been so ridiculously brilliant. But so have they. They have matched us. There's still eight games to go. We've still got to play them. It's still in our hands. If we win all of our remaining games, if we beat Liverpool, we can still win the title. But. We had a five-point gap. We've thrown that away. The games against West Ham and West Brom, which is just so stupid and just so typical. And just, I don't want to say it's unfair because you don't deserve to win. And it's just a video game at the end of the day. But it's just so mind-numbingly frustrating. I don't know what more we can do. But I think that the Premier League's more important, so we'll play Wolves along with it as well. And then the following episode is going to be the Manchester Triple. And then we'll see what we do after that because if we get to some finals we'll have to come to that but then there's still so many Premier League games left to play at the end of May we're going to be playing the Champions League final in June if we get there but there we are thank you very much for watching just frustration that's the word that's the title of today's episode leave a like subscribe I'll see you next time for just some more tension how are there still this many games left to play